a compliance officer plays a critical role at all stages of the False Claims Act case. False Claims Act cases, and especially quitam cases, begin under seal. They're filed under seal, and, they're, and, the, and the defendant is not advised of its existence. So it really begins as an investigation. By definition, every False Claims Act case is a criminal case. The only difference is the level of the intent and, and, the, and the standard uh, of proof. Other than that, every False Claims Act case, every quitam case, alleges a criminal act. Therefore, that compliance officer, along with the in-house counsel and along with outside counsel, are responsible for making sure that the organization avoids obstruction of justice and other ethical issues that come with every criminal investigation. Therefore, the first thing you do is you make sure that there is a document retention notice sent out to the organization. Not only do you have to send that out, you have to send it out to the right people, so you have to find out who the people are that get it, and you have to document that you sent it out. You have to make sure it covers electronic and hard copies, and you have to make sure that it is being enforced. After that, you have to make sure that people who may have information don't start talking to, them, to each other about it and collude about a story. You want the truth. I have said for many years, I've probably done 200 or 300 internal investigations. I tell the employees, you must tell me the truth. You have a a, a responsibility to this company to tell me the truth and tell me the whole truth or I'm going to recommend you be fired and I have recommended people be fired and they've been fired. That compliance officer is going to be right in the middle of that. They're, they might be witnesses, they might assist counsel or they might just be observing and be responsible for how to fix it but that compliance officer is in the middle of every False Claims Act investigation.